Hi, in this video, I am going to explain you how to handle the estimate time for the dynamically added shipping methods. Now you can see these are the two zones in our website, India, Germany, and these are the different shipping methods. This one is for the India and this one is for the Germany. So you can add the minimum maximum date for the normal methods that are directly linked to the shipping zones. You can see this shipping methods are linked to the India zone and you will find them over here. But many times we use different plugins to add shipping method dynamically. In such cases, the shipping method is not linked to any of the shipping zones. So in that case, we are not able to add the minimum shipping days and maximum shipping days time for those particular shipping methods. So to handle that situation, we have a different option available. Go to dynamic methods. Over here, you will be having a dynamic method. Click on this. Then you have to enter the name of the dynamic method that for which you want to set the minimum shipping days and maximum shipping days. Now, how to find this method name? You need to go to your checkout cart page. For example, right now I have one dynamic method. This is a dynamic method. And you can see it does not show estimate time for this method right now. Now we have to find the name for this method. You have to inspect the code and then you will see the value part of this. This is the particular, this is the method and this is its value. This particular thing, this is its value. You can copy the whole thing, this value. Then you have to go over here. You have to put it over here. And then you have to specify for which zone you want to assign the values. Say when user is getting this particular shipping method for India zone, then you want to show them the deli minimum delivery time of one and maximum delivery time of two and match type. Now say you don't want to include this. You want all the method with this name to have this particular values. In that case, you can say it like like. So that will only compare this much of text and it will assign this values. But if you want to have exact match, then you have to do it exact match. Now let's save this. Now it is India. Let refresh. You will see now it is showing the estimate date. Now let's change this for another. Let's add another method similar to for this only say we want to add the same method to have a different shipping time when it is shipping to Germany exact say for that we will add minimum shipping days of 5 and maximum shipping days of 10 let's save this now you can see it is 5 and 10. Now let's change this to Germany. You can see it has changed from 10 to 16 now for the Germany zone, the same shipping method. So like this you can assign minimum maximum shipping days for dynamically added shipping method and get an estimate for them as well.